Okay, the chaperone. I decided this one required probably a little bit more backup to get through it. Okay, Triple H Bear. You were there with me when I saw the chaperone, right? That's right. Now, ironically, when I saw the trailers, I thought this was going to be almost like non-stop stupid kid slapstick. No, I, I ser seriously, I did. I mean, the, the trailers made it seem like it was going to be just nothing but, don't, don't get it, look, nothing but just weird, stupid, home alone meets baby's day out sort of. Did you see any of the trailers for it? Okay. And ironically, you know, he plays an ex-con, so he gets, the beginning is him getting out of jail. And if you've seen the commercials, it more or less mentions, you know, what's the first thing someone does when they get out of jail? You know, probably something stupid. So, you know, he does try to get back with his family. And that part is actually really touchy. It is. And ironically, that's like an hour and 20 minutes of the movie. It's, you know, it's, it's him trying to connect with his, connect with his daughter, his estranged wife, who's now his ex-wife, you know, trying to get a job. All these things are not really funny. They're, it's actually kind of like a lighthearted drama most of the time. Now, he has a problem getting a job, so he decides to essentially kind of, you know, go back to doing what he does best, which is drive cars. He has a change of heart, kind of like halfway through it, and kind of like, you know, I can't do this. Leaves the keys, and essentially walks away. That's when he hops on the bus to become the chaperone. Now, of course, the teacher in this is Yardley Smith, which is awesome because you know why? Because she's Lisa Simpson. But every time I the picture, you know, just like this little yellow-haired, like, starfish-headed girl talking with a pearl necklace and, you know, a little orange dress. But it's not. It's the actual person this time. So, of course, something happens and the wrong bags get loaded. So Triple H actually now has a bag full of money. Well, he does. It's a bag full of money. He didn't steal it. It's not his fault. Okay. Just chill. Okay. And, you know, then he helps them, you know, go along to their, uh, their, their slight little tour through, uh, Nyalans. Which Greg's looking at it going, oh wow, Canal Street. You know, I actually know where they're at. So, where does the weird, you know, like, slapstick stuff come in at? Well, the kids don't actually take the bus to, like, the last, like, ten minutes of the movie. So you have, like, five minutes of, you know, kids fighting bank robbers. Beyond that, it's, you know, there's jokes every now and then that are kind of on the stupid side. But this is really family friendly. I think the most customers you get is you hear, damn. That's about it. Normally, whenever they're going to actually cuss, they always cut away. Because someone's going to cuss them to a phone, and then they cut away to somebody else. So something ends up happening is, you know, the, the bank robbers find out that H has the money. And they think he's some sort of clever mastermind that he's actually trying to steal the money from them. And he's like, no, guys, I'm not. I want to give you your money back. One thing leads to another, then kidnapping his daughter... And at the end of it, you know, he actually does finally, you know, get everything turned in. Everything's fine. And then he gets this new job. Throughout the movie, he's calling this woman on a radio show who really helped him turn his life around. And at the very end, he has his own call-in show. You're probably thinking, doesn't sound really funny. It's not. It's, it's primarily kind of like a light drama with, you know, bits and pieces of kind of stupid humor. And at the very end, for like five minutes, the kids fight the two bank robbers. And even that, it's, it's really, really, it's like, it's like fireworks, necklaces. That's it. It's not like this really long, drawn out, you know, paint cans on strings. It's, it's fast and it's to the point. And it's not bad. You know, the, the acting between Triple H and his daughter is done very well. The other three kids end up helping out. They get the bare minimum amount of character development. I'm talking almost like slasher flick level development. It's like, yeah, I'm the troublemaker. Okay, I'm the really smart kid who's kind of neurotic. I'm the I'm the the young male love interest. And all it's 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 lighthearted. It's actually for the E movies. It's probably the best one. Not saying much, but by far it is the best movie E's kicked out so far. And that is the Chaperone. So, they do a good job, Triple H Bear. Excellent.